cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a young man called, Hiccup. He is narrating what has been happening ever since his Viking village started to befriend dragons. Things became more fun for them as they started using dragons as pets. Some use them for sports, such as dragon racing. All the Vikings in the village are gathered for a game, where Hiccup's friends compete with their dragons, by picking a sheep and throwing them into nets. After a long game, Hiccup's girlfriend is able to win the match. But Hiccup dad Stoic, and Gobber are worried about Hiccup's whereabouts because he is also supposed to participate in the game. Hiccup is flying with his Night Fury dragon, Toothless. He just needed to avoid his dad because he doesn't want to have the conversation with his dad about being the next chief. His girlfriend Astrid later joins them. And he reveals to her about it. Because he is afraid that he doesn't have what it takes to lead the village. But Astrid is confident that he does. During their conversation, they see a black smoke in a long distance, and fly with their dragon to find out. They both come across a strange island full of ice. A group of people sees them, and throws a net, capturing his Astrid dragon. Astrid falls off, but is rescued by Toothless. The leader of the trappers, called Eret, comes out to introduces himself. He explains to them that he is capturing dragons for his boss who is known as Vago Bloodvist. He accuses Hiccup and the other dragon riders of coming near their fortress and stealing their dragons. But Hiccup has no idea on what they are talking about. Eret tells Hiccup and Astrid that soon enough, Drago will be heading to their village with his army. And they will capture all their dragons. Suddenly Hiccup utilizes his fire sword to free Astrid Dragon, and they both quickly make their escape to warn the others. Immediately Hiccup and Astrid returns to the village, he hurries to warn his father Stoic, about the Dragon Trappers. As Hiccup mentions the leader of the Dragon Trappers called Drago, Stoic is so afraid and rushes to warn the entire villagers about the upcoming threat. He explains to Hiccup that Drago is a really bad person. But Hiccup believes that there should be a way to talk sense into Drago, and give him reasons why dragons shouldn't be harmed. But Stoic believes he will be working to his death, due to he believes Drago is not someone that can be negotiated with. Stoic is able to gather all these villagers to shield the village. But Hiccup disobeys his father, and rides his dragon away to talk to Drago. Astrid follows him as well. Hiccup and Astrid goes back to Eret's ship and surrender themselves. So they can be taken to Drago basement so he will reason with Drago. But Stoic is able to find them in time, and takes them away. He explains to Hiccup the kind of person Drago is, by telling him a story. That long time ago, Drago gathered the chiefs of the village, and tells them that he is going to protect their village from harm. Only if they bow down to him, but everyone just ended laughing at him. Dragon later returns to the village that night with dragons, and killed all the chieftains. Stoic was the only person that survived. Stoic begs Hiccup to return back to the village with him and find a way to defend themselves, but instead, Hiccup flies away with Toothless. Up in the clouds, Hiccup and Toothless are seen by a person in mask, riding a dragon. They grab Hiccup, and Toothless not been able to fly without a rider, falls into an icy ocean. Toothless isn't able to swim but luckily for him, is taken away by other dragons. Hiccup and Toothless are taken to a mysterious cave. Suddenly he sees himself surrounded by different kind of dragons he has never seen before. As Hiccup tries to tame one of the dragon, but the person in mask steps down and approaches Hiccup. After seeing a scar on his chin, the person takes off the mask, and it is revealed to be a woman called Vaka. It turns out that she knows who Hiccup is, but Hiccup doesn't recognize her at all. She tells Hiccup that he was only a baby when she saw him last. As for Stoic and Gobber, they fly on their dragons over the icy ocean to search for Hiccup. Stoic sees Hiccup's helmet in the water, and he becomes afraid, thinking he must have been harmed. Hiccup follows Vaka, hoping to get the answers to his many questions. She takes him to a big nest filled with thousands of dragons, including their babies. Vaka shows Hiccup her own dragon called, Cloud Jumper, and explains to him that a long time ago, when Hiccup was a baby, there was a war between dragons and Vikings. Vaka tried to stop the Vikings from fighting the dragons, but nobody listened to her. She then saw a dragon called Cloud Jumper entering into their home, and is approaching their baby, Hiccup. Shockingly for her, the dragon was of no harm to the baby. The dragon was just taking care of the baby, which made her really amazed. As the dragon meets her, she looks into its eyes and realizes the dragon and her were not so different. That's when Stoic burst in and pursued the dragon away, but it carried Vaka with her. Nowadays, she has been rescuing countless dragons from Drago's traps, bringing them to the nest. 
where they are under the control of the gigantic Alpha Dragon. The huge dragon rises and breathes a small patch of ice on Hiccup, which Vaka explained that it means he likes Hiccup. She goes on and continue to show Hiccup other secrets about dragons. Hiccup's friends and their dragons has been waiting really long for Stoic to bring Hiccup back. But after a long wait, Astrid feels they might be in danger and decides to take her dragon and as well lead the others and their dragons to the dragon trapper ship. Astrid makes her dragon to grab Eret away from the ship and threatens him to show them the way to Drago encampment, otherwise he will throw off. Eret is really afraid and with no choice left, he leads them to the location of Drago camp. Immediately the group reaches Drago camp, every one of them are captured apart from Astrid dragon that made its escape in time. Astrid and the others are taken to Drago and Eret tried to make it seem he was the one that captured them so he can get credits from their leader Drago. Drago subdues and steps on one of their dragons, to try and prove to them that he alone has control over dragons. But Astrid threatens Drago, that if he doesn't let them go, the greatest dragon master, Hiccup, will come after him. Drago laughs this off. No longer in use of Eret, Drago commands his men to kill him. But Astrid Dragon dives down in time, and shields Eret, preventing the weapons from hurting him. Meanwhile Stoic discovers Hiccup in the caves and tries to get him out, but Gobber stops him after seeing something unbelievable. Gobber brings Stoic to Vaka. Hiccup long lost mother, and Stoic is speechless after seeing her again. He walks up to her and she thinks he is going to scold her for abandoning the village, but he calmly tells her, you are as beautiful as the day I lost you. Vaka sheds a tear and Stoic kisses her. Drago's followers tries to make Eret and the dragon riders to walk off the plank to their deaths. But Eret then decides to switch sides and fight off Drago's men, freeing himself and the riders, along with their dragons. He finds Stormfly Astrid Dragon, and appreciates her for saving his life, and now he is returning the favor by freeing her. He got for the first time eats a meal with his parents and Gobber. Stoic sings a song to Vaka, and she joins him, and the two begin to dance joyfully. Stoic tells her to join them on their return to the village, and be his wife again. Without hesitation, she happily accepts. Suddenly, a shot is fired, hitting the ice around the cave. As Vaka goes out to check, she sees Drago's entire army is already at the shores with his own dragons under his control. Astrid and her crew immediately flies and releases the captured dragons and joins in the battle. Stoic and Vaka also ride on their dragons as well, to fight Drago. And in the Alpha Dragon awakened and goes out to defend its pack. Drago then begins screaming and waving his arm around and suddenly, his own huge dragon is summoned. He believes that if his huge dragon wins the fight over the Alpha Dragon, it will have control over the other dragons, therefore becoming the new Alpha. Suddenly, the two huge dragons battled with each other. But ultimately, Drago Bewildered Beast strikes back his huge Alpha Dragon with its tusks, and kills it, making it the new Alpha of the dragons. Hiccup is able to meet with Drago and asks him why he is trying to take subdue the dragons like this. Drago then removes his iron left arm, and tells Hiccup that not only his arm was taken away, but his loved ones were also taken away by the dragons. Now he plans to use his alpha dragon to have control of all the other dragons, so he can have control for everyone. He calls his alpha forward, and with its hypnotic call, all the dragons, including Toothless, are being controlled under its command. Toothless doesn't remember Hiccup's voice anymore, and he begins to fire up a blast from his mouth. Stoic quickly runs to save Hiccup from the blast, but he is hit instead. Hiccup and Vaka quickly rush to his body. But sadly, he is already dead. Toothless is able to snap out from the control of the Alpha Dragon, and as he goes to Stoic's body, Hiccup angrily yells at it to go away. And under the Alpha control again, Drago is able to subdue Toothless, and rides him with the other dragons to Hiccup's village. Stoic is given a Viking's funeral. Hiccup is really afraid of being the new leader of their village because B believes he might not meet up to their expectations. But Vaka assures him that he has enough courage and heart to overcome his adversaries. Knowing what he has to do next, Hiccup takes the others as they ride baby dragons to fly back to Burke. But the baby dragons cannot be controlled by the Alpha Dragon. Drago and his Alpha Dragon suddenly arrives at Hiccup's village. He then started to boast about Stoic's death. As the villager hear of their leader's death, they are so demotivated to fight back. Immediately, Hiccup and his friends is able to arrive in time and he meets Toothless who is already in control of the Alpha Dragon. Drago allows him to do so because he believes no dragon can snap out from the Alpha's control. Hiccup reminds Toothless on who he really is and surprisingly Toothless is able to snap out from the Alpha Dragon control. He throws Drago off his back, and the final battle begins.
Hiccup Friends tries to distract the Alpha Dragon, so that Hiccup and Toothless will have the chance to take the Alpha and Drago down. Toothless shoots its fire blasts at the Alpha so many times. And out of anger, the Alpha releases ice from its mouth, and freezes both Hiccup and Toothless, making everyone think they are dead. As Drago laughs thinking he has won the fight, a blue light glows from the ice, and the ice breaks in a powerful explosion. Toothless back glows blue with energy, which is able to free the other dragons out of the Alpha control. And now, all the dragons stand behind him and Hiccup. Hiccup then smiles and tells Drago that this is how dragons are led. Together, the dragons fire off blasts at Drago and the Alpha, removing Drago's metal arm in the process. With one last powerful blast, Toothless fires at the Alpha and cuts off its remaining tusk. Seeing they are already defeated and defenseless, Drago and the Alpha retreats inside Ocean. The village elder then announces Hiccup as the new chief of Berk. The Vikings and dragons then bow to Hiccup as their new leader, he then grabs Astrid and kisses her. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.